how is it going guys it's epsilon here and today's runescape 3 video looks at the best D, D that you can do to earn both money and also get yourself uh, hundreds of thousands of xp in both fishing and farming every single month and why you can actually do this so so easily within the game the D, D in question is Giant Oyster and it is a monthly D, D. And this one is the most crucial one uh, in terms of the amount of time that you're putting into it and how much you actually get out of it is the best D, D that you can do in RuneScape so far. Uh, obviously, they could bring out a better one, uh, but it's unlikely in the near future. Now, this obviously is something that you can do after completing Beneath Cursed Tides, which is the quest, uh, and you'll have to be able to do that in order to actually get access to this D&D, but it's a very, very easy quest. Only takes a short amount of time. All you need is 30 attack, strength, magic, mining, smithing, wood cutting, fire making, and cooking. So all of the kind of basic tutorial uh, skills to be able to complete this uh, and get yourself uh, the quest completed. And of course that un unlocks the access to be able to go to the sunken tutorial island and you can get there uh, by going to the wizard's tower, going right the way down from the rune crafting guild. I use the wicked uh, teleport to be able to get there then go down to the bottom go outside the entrance of the runecrafting guild and then just talk and dive uh, on screen right now with this way you can do that you don't have to have any weapons uh, equipped so you just get rid of those out of your inventory slots and you'll be able to go down there all you have to do to be able to complete this dnd is literally go over to the fishing spot which is just away from the initial entrance point to the sunken tutorial island uh, you can then literally just take the you basically go over to some seaweed um, and then you're basically fishing from there i'm getting drops of 7k xp every single uh, drop of xp that you do get on this activity so it is the best fishing xp per kind of time invested into it uh, f compared to anything else it is amazing uh, and i've certainly gone up a few fishing levels uh, just by doing the oyster each month and using my monthly D, &D token which I would recommend you guys do. Further to the fishing spot, you're also able to get tons of XP from the farming spot as well, which is something you can do as well. Uh, and this is basically where you uh, where you kind of harvest the seaweed patch and that will give you kind of the seaweed, uh, which you can then feed to the giant oyster. It closes and then you have to wait a while uh, before you can check it. When you check it, you then will be getting rewards for uh, basically opening the rewards are something that you'll be wanting to get as part of the oyster and these are probably the best thing uh, in terms of money per time spent like the fishing and farming xp that we've talked about uh, and this is where you can basically open up the oyster after you've fed it and you've waited until the monthly reset on the first of the month and then you open up that oyster and it will give you a random drop uh, of different clue scroll rewards essentially uh, they can either roll on the easy medium hard or elite uh, clue scroll rolls tables basically and then it will give you randomly rewards between that and essentially it's exactly the same as when you open up a clue scroll reward uh, the rewards can't be re-rolled unfortunately um, but yeah you can get the unique treasure trail rewards from the giant oyster and it does actually count towards your treasure trail collection log so for example if you get a die within the oyster which you can do got to be super lucky uh, but it does happen every now and again um, but it is something really really good uh, and definitely something you'll be wanting to do obviously you can see in the background we've managed to pick up three million uh, gp within a very short space of time and you can see the previous month's rewards as well on screen right now and it just gives you that extra boost for a small amount of time and the key thing is you're getting both xp for skills that are kind of hard to get super quick xp in and also the GP as well. So this is where the Giant Oyster is one of my most recommended things for you to be able to get your hands on and do it as quickly as possible because the sooner you start, the more XP, the more GP you're going to be able to get for a very minimal amount of time within RuneScape 3. So hopefully you enjoy this video. If you want to check out other guides for different money-making activities and different uh, XP and tips and stuff like that, then subscribe to the channel and check out those on screen right now. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I hope you join me in the next one. Goodbye.